Strange Bedfellows opens in a Shadaloo hideout with Zangief receiving a small weapons shipment when suddenly... Totally not Akuma attacks the place, bodies Geef, and, and leaves some incriminating files and graffiti for Bison to find. We cut to Escher and Guile, and it seems like Street Fighter are experiencing very much the same thing. Their bases have been getting attacked as well. Weird line from Escher at one point, though. It's as if Bison's declared war on the Street Fighters. I mean, like, you, you are, though. I mean, we, we basically had an entire season of Street Fighter versus Shadaloo. The two of you have been up each other's asses at, at every friggin' turn. It's, it's even narrated in the goddamn introduction at the start of every episode. And the team of the most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. So they... How is this weird? Like, I just kind of assumed that this kind of stuff happened off camera on a, I don't know, let's say monthly basis, but, but we just don't see it because it's just too dull to show compared to, like, friggin' biological viruses, invisible jets, and Sagat cereal preferences. You like some cornflakes? <laughs> Also a couple small references. When when Escher pulls up Chun-Li's profile, her, her weight is listed as she won't tell, just like the games. Uh, and for Blanca, yeah, th th there it is. Carlos Blanca. Charlie. Anyways, that takes us to more totally not Akuma shenanigans is he attacks some more Shadaloo and Street Fighter installations, it, even including one where Cindy, you War Warriors remember Cindy, right? Yeah, one where Cindy was stationed. Guile tries to play it cool, but Blanket and Chun-Li can kind of like see right through it when Guile's willing to disobey direct orders to withdraw just so he can like continue with his own investigations. I mean, I don't know why he didn't just sonic boom the computer. I have to remember that. Probably could have gotten the answers he was looking for faster because that that just seems to be how Guile deals with technology, but eh, whatever. It totally pays off and Guile tracks him to a small volcanic island where Bison tries to throw Guile off balance by listing Capcom games that aren't getting sequels. Remember me. All right, World Warriors, here we go. It, it's the final showdown. It's the friggin' perfect way to end the season. Guile versus Bison. Street Fighter versus Shadaloo. Good versus evil. My, my body is so friggin' ready, but you know, it just, it just wasn't meant to be. After Bison nearly wins by throwing Guile into some lava, the two world warriors slowly start to realize that this whole thing might have been a ruse. But by who? Excellent! Excellent! Finish him! Uh, Sh Shao Kahn? Excellent! Excellent! Finish him! Nah, nah, why it's only just our buddy old friend old chap. Akuma! <laughs> and... Yeah, Akuma's given the full Street Fighter cartoon makeover, too. He's retained his basic premise of a near-demigod-like fighter that wants to challenge only the strongest world warriors in the land, but they added some kind of, like, like a vampire effect to him, where, where he steals the chi of warriors he defeats in epic battle. There's a long speech about how he lured Bison and Guile to the island, to like make them fight to the death and then challenge the winner, which like, wouldn't it be more beneficial if, if Akuma challenged and, and defeated both of them for like an overall better net gain of chi? And, and then the asshole just tries to drop them in the lava anyways. So just, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Guile saves Bison from falling in, thankfully, and their their exchange is probably my favorite part of this whole episode. What happened? Why did you save me? <sighs> Letting people die is not high on my list of instinctive responses. 
You want me to toss you back in? And the two come to a mutual understanding that they're probably gonna have to work together if they hope to survive this encounter with Akuma. Meanwhile, Zangief and Sagat argue over who should run Shadaloo in Bison's absence, which... Ugh, look, let, let's be real. Either way, Shadaloo would be screwed! Like, last episode, I literally had a compilation of Zangief getting wrecked. And, and you know, Sagat's not much better off, but I'd probably say Sagat's more qualified for the position, at least. Isn't he, like, still mayor of Shadaloo City or something? I don't, I don't even know. No Way Out feels like forever ago. As for the Street Fighters, Blanca and Chun-Li are trying to track down Guile, and I, I guess Blanca knows hacking too or something because he finds out that they're on... <laughs> Shenglong Island. Oh, okay, okay, you know what? That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. I appreciate that. Back inside the volcano, Guile and Bison come to blows and, uh, again, Guile almost falls into lava. This is the third friggin' time Guile's almost fallen into lava in just a single goddamn episode. This time, Bison saves him, and, and Bison's explanation for why is just friggin' tops. Self-preservation narrowly won out over the pleasure of watching you burn. Seriously though, the dialogue between the two of them in this episode is some of the best for the entire season. Eventually, the strange bedfellows finally come face to face with Akuma and it's go time. Alone, neither fighter can really do anything, but once they sync up and start working together, with Bison trapping Akuma in his magnetic field, giving Guile the opportunity to land a sonic boom, that's really about it. They land a single blow, and a Akuma just pieces the fuck out. Coward. <laughs> you were worthy. You came as close as any mortal ever will. Next time, it will not be so easy! The volcanoes of Shenglong Island begin to erupt at Akuma's departure. Bison and Guile extend an unspoken ceasefire as they escape with their respective crews. Bison, smiling longingly at his rival in the distance. Then, like, we cut to Guile and Cindy having a make-out reunion. It's supposed to be romantic or whatever, but fuck that! Episode should've ended on that bison smile! Next time on Street Fighter! Aw, Season 2 is coming! Get ready to see some of your favorites return and even more new characters for the series to completely fuck up. I'll see you next time with The Hammer Strikes! We await your return, warrior.